The founder of Jodo Shinshu, Master Shinran, was born during the third year of Joan, or 1173. This period corresponds to the Southern Song Dynasty of China. His family home was at a place called Hino, located southeast of the city of Kyoto. His given name as a child was said to be Matsuwakamaro. The date of the Venerable Master's birth is generally considered to be the first day of the fourth lunar month, which has been converted in modern times to May 21st of the Western calendar. His father was Hino Arinori, a member of the Hino clan, which was a branch of the Fujiwara nobility. His mother was said to be Kikonyo, and she was said to have passed away when the master was very young. This is the Hino birth temple which was built in memory of Shinran's family home. The family temple of the Hino clan is the ancient Hokkaiji temple, which houses a beautiful seated Amida Buddha image. At the back of the Hino birth temple is the family cemetery of the Hino family. Old tomb stupas of Hino Arinori and Kikonyo are found there. During this era, Japan was full of wars and natural disasters. The imperial court was weak and warring clans fought for power. Famines, earthquakes and fires were also common. The common people struggled to live and the fortunes of many nobles declined as well. During the spring of 1181 AD, when Shinran was nine years of age, his uncle Hino Noritsuna brought him to a well-known monk of that time, Master Jien, also known as Jichin, who initiated the Venerable Master into the Buddhist monkhood. This is Shorinin, the temple where Master Shinran was ordained. This Tendai temple was an influential temple, as it had close connections to the imperial family. The actual reason for Master Shinran's entry into the monkhood at such a young age is not certain. However, it was common for nobles of declining families to take up monkhood in order to seclude from the secular world. Tradition has it that when Shinran was told by Master Jien that he will conduct the ceremony the next day, as it was already late then, however, Master Shinran was adamant to be ordained on the same day and he composed this poem to reflect his feelings. Cherry blossoms that are thought to last till the next day may well be blown away during the night. He was then ordained in that evening and was given the novice name Hanen. The following year he ascended Mount Hiei, then the center of Buddhist learning, and began studying the teachings and performing the religious practices of the Tendai school of Buddha Dharma. The Tendai school was founded by the Chinese master, Ji Yi, who systematized the Mahayana teachings. As he lived on Mount Tiantai of Zhejiang, China, his school was named the Tiantai school, Japanese Tendai Shu. In the 9th century, the famous Japanese monk Saicho went to Tang, China and brought back the teachings of this school. He then developed Mount Hiei as a center of Buddhist learning, Master Shinran was thought to have resided in the Daijo Temple of the Mu Doji Valley of Mount Hiei. As many historical records on Mount Hiei were lost, not much is known of what the Master actually did in Mount Hiei. However, it is certain that he was a Doso on Mount Hiei. Those who were from noble families were scholar monks or Gakusho. A Doso was one who conducted services and rituals. He was also said to be influenced by the Pure Land teachings of the scholar monk Genshin, who resided in the Yokawa area of Mount Hiei. Master Genshin, who lived 200 years earlier, wrote a work named Essentials of Birth, which influenced Shinran greatly as well. It was also likely that he practiced the continuous Samadhi ritual as well. This 90-day ritual requires the participants to circumambulate an image of Amida while reciting his name continuously. However, despite his training on Mount Hiei, the Venerable Master did not gain the conviction that he had left the world of delusion and entered the way to enlightenment. 
One of the reasons for this may have been because Saito's spirit had disappeared from Mount Hiei by then, and many monks were corrupt as well. The master may have been extremely disappointed in the religious environment, and his deep self-reflection led him to feel he had come to a dead end in his search for enlightenment. When the master was 19 years of age, in 1192, he decided to descend Mount Hiei to go on a pilgrimage to the tomb of Prince Shotoku, 574-622 AD, in order to solve his inner problem. Prince Shotoku was a 7th century regent of Japan who supported Buddhism in the early years of Japanese Buddhist history. He is greatly respected for his pioneering works and many consider him to be an incarnation of Kanon Bodhisattva. It was said that Master Shinran received a prophecy at the tomb. Following that, in 1101, the Master decided to seclude himself for a hundred days in a temple named Rokakudo in Kyoto. He did so because the temple was also built by Prince Shotoku. This is the Rokakudo temple today. The principal image honored there is the nyo i rin Kanon. It remains a popular Kanon temple today. To commemorate Master Shinran's retreat, an image of him is enshrined at the side of the temple. Early on the morning of the 95th day of his seclusion, the Venerable Master had a revelation from Kanon in his dream. The words that he received were lost, but that dream led him to Master Honen, 1133-1212 AD, who was then living at the Hermitage in Yoshimitsu. Master Honen, also known as Master Genku, was 40 years older than Shinran. He was also a Tendai monk from Mount Hiei. Upon reading the Tang Dynasty Master Shan Dao's Commentary on the Contemplation Sutra, he was greatly moved and decided to start an independent Japanese Pure Land school. At Yoshimitsu, he preached the Pure Land doctrine to the masses, who were greatly touched by his simple teachings. It is significant to note that Buddhism of the earlier periods was mainly concerned with benefiting the state and the rulers. Towards the end of the Heian period and the start of the Kamakura period, many masters appeared to bring Buddhist teachings to the common people. In this lecture hall in Mount Hiei, the founders of Kamakura-era schools are enshrined. Shinran is seen here next to his beloved teacher, Master Honen. Master Honen's followers included both lay people and monks. Those who were attracted to his teachings ranged from nobles to samurais to the most destitute. As Master Honen was one of the few Buddhist teachers of ancient times who didn't discriminate against women, many women of all classes were also attracted to his teachings. In order to expound the Pure Land teachings, Master Honen wrote a work named Selected Passages on the Nembutsu of the Primal Vow. Under Master Honen, Shinran changed his name from Hanen to Shaku. Four years later, he changed his name to Zenshin, and Master Honen personally wrote his name for him. He was among the few who were allowed to copy the selected passages. Once, Shinran proposed to Honen that he wished to ask his fellow disciples whether they feel that entrustment faith in Amida is the cause for rebirth, or is practice the cause for rebirth. With Honen's permission, Shinran asked the same question to his fellow disciples the next day. They were told to take their seats according to their decision. Recording the results, only five disciples, including Shinran, took their seats in the faith section. At the end, Honen responded, Please enter my name in the faith section there as well. The rest of the disciples regretted not understanding their master's teaching of Tariki Nembutsu better. Master Honen taught that study and religious practices were unnecessary in the Dharma ending age, and that even the worst of people will be saved by the recitation of Namo Amida Butsu. As his followers grew, the older Buddhist schools were jealous of Master Honen. They were also unhappy that his teachings negated the various practices and promoted only the Nembutsu. In response to such pressure, Master Honen wrote the seven rules 
for self-regulation and made his 189 disciples sign on it. In this document, Shinran signed his name as Monk Shakku. This was submitted to the head monk of Mount Hiei's in Rakuji. The next year, in 1205, Kofukuji in Nara petitioned the imperial court to ban Master Honen's teachings. However, the court did not take any actions against Master Honen. However, the uneasy peace was destroyed in 1206. While the emperor was away to Kumamo, two of Master Honen's disciples, Juren and Anraku, ordained two palace maids without permission. When the emperor found out about it, he was greatly angered. In 1207, the emperor decreed to execute both of them with two others. Master Hornen and seven others were stripped of their monk status and exiled. Master Shinran was one of them. Master Hornen was then 75 years old, while Shinran was 35 years old. Master Honen was given the criminal name of Fuji-i Motohiko and exiled to the island of Shikoku. Shinran was given the criminal name of Fuji-i Yoshizane and exiled to Echigo, which is modern-day Niigate Prefecture. During that era, monks who were convicted were stripped of their monkhood status and given lay names before they could be persecuted. During this persecution, Shinran was separated from his beloved master forever, as they never met each other again. With regard to the unfair sentences, Master Shinran later wrote in his work, the Kyogyo Shinsho, Emperor and his ministers, acting against the Dharma, were indignant and resented the Pure Land teachings. As a result, Master Genkyu, the eminent founder, and a number of his followers, without receiving any deliberation of their alleged crimes, were summarily sentenced to death, or were dispossessed of their monkhood, given secular names, and consigned to distant banishment. I was among the latter. Hence, I am now neither a monk, nor one in worldly life. For this reason, I have taken the term Toku, stubble-haired, as my name. Master Genku and his disciples, being banished to the provinces in different directions, passed a period of five years in exile. As he was no longer officially an ordained monk, the venerable master referred to himself as non-monk, non-layperson, Hiso Hizoku, after being exiled. He also called himself Shinran, the ignorant stubble-haired one, Kotoku Shinran. Both Shinran and Master Honen took this opportunity to spread the Pure Land teachings among the people in their places of exile. Life in Echigo was harsh and difficult. In order to survive, Master Shinran had to toil the lands along with the farmers. He took this opportunity to preach to the common people whom he lived with. Most of the people whom he lived with were poor, illiterate, and often struggled to survive in the harsh environment. At this period, the master married a lady by the name of Ashini. The reasons for his marriage were that he was no longer a monk and wanted to show the common people that they could also practice the Pure Land teachings like himself. In addition, Master Hornen had also taught earlier that anyone of any creed or profession could practice the Pure Land teachings without any discrimination. 1211 which was after five years of exile, both Shinran and Master Honen were pardoned by the court. Master Shinran would have prepared to return to Kyoto, but in 1212, just two months after receiving their pardons, Master Honen passed away in Kyoto at the age of 80. Master Shinran then decided not to return to Kyoto. In 1214, at the age of 42, he decided to travel to various places in eastern Japan to preach the Dharma. He traveled with his family for the next 20 years, and his followers slowly gathered. He had about 80 direct disciples in various places. 
These disciples in turn headed local Nembutsu groups. However, Master Shinran is quoted as saying in the Tanisho, he did not consider himself to have any disciples. I, Shinran, do not have any disciples. The reason I do not is because people recite the Nembutsu through the working of Amida Buddha and not because of any effort on my part. It is ridiculous to refer to those who recite the Nembutsu as my disciples. The Venerable Master said he did not have any disciples because people do not recite the Nembutsu because of him, but because of Amida Buddha's primal vow. Referring to such people as his disciples is therefore preposterous. Further, since all are disciples of the Buddha, he considered them to be friends on Dobu, who walked the same path on Dogyo. The actual reasons for Master Shinran's decision to travel to the eastern area of Kanto are unclear. Some scholars have proposed that he could have followed the peasants who were migrating to the newer eastern territories. Others have suggested that the family of Shinran's wife, Eshini, might have owned territories in Hitachi area. In 1217, Master Shinran and his family settled in the Inada area of Hitachi, modern-day Ibaraki prefecture. Inada was Master Shinran's home for close to 20 years. He lived closely amongst the locals. The Pure Land teachings were thus widely propagated in the area. This is the site of Shinran's hermitage in Inada. Sainenji Temple now stands in its original location. During his missionary travels, many locals were converted by Master Shinran. However, some of his encounters were less than friendly. In Hitachi area, there was a mountain ascetic, Yamabushi, named Benin, from Mount Itajiki. Yamabushi refers to ascetic hermits of the mountains. He made a living by performing various magical rituals for others. As more people practiced the Pure Land teachings under Master Shinran's guidance, his business was greatly affected. As a result, Benin became so jealous to the extent that he went to Master Shinran's hut attempting to attack him. However, upon seeing the Master's kind face, he was so touched to the extent that he threw away his weapons and ritual gear. He became one of the Master's disciples and he was given the Dharma name Myohobo. When Master Shinran was about 52, he started to write the fundamental work of the Jodo Shinshu school, the Kyogyo Shinsho. The complete title of this work is Ken Jodo Shinjitsu Kyogyo Sho Monrui, passages in which the true teaching, practice and attainment in the Pure Land are revealed. This lengthy work was only completed when Master Shinran was about 75 years old. However, he kept revising it until he was about 85. This work was written in classical Chinese, which was the language of learning in that era. The Kyogyo Shinsho comprises of six chapters and it systematizes the Pure Land teachings as interpreted by Master Shinran. The Shoshinge, which is chanted by all Jodo Shinshu followers, is found at the end of the chapter on practice. In his writings, Master Shinran selected seven Pure Land Masters from India, China and Japan to signify the lineage of the Pure Land tradition. These seven Masters are namely the two Indian Masters Nagarjuna and Vasubandhu, the three Chinese Masters Tan Luan, Donran, Dao Cho, Do Shaku, and Shang Dao Zendo. The two Japanese masters are Genshin and Honen. All of these masters wrote many works in the history of Pure Land Buddhism and they laid the foundation for the development of Jodo Shinshu. Scroll images of these seven masters are enshrined in all Jodo Shinshu temples. In 1232, Master Shinran returned to Kyoto at the age of 60. With the resources of Buddhist materials in Kyoto, Master Shinran completed the Kyogyo Shinsho and started to write many other works. For the benefit of the common people who couldn't read classical Chinese, 
which was used for most Buddhist texts. Shinran also composed many Buddhist hymns in Japanese. During this period, he corresponded with his disciples who lived in other areas. Some of them also came to visit him to inquire about Pure Land teachings. However, in the Kanto area, eastern Japan, misunderstandings of the Pure Land teachings grew. One of these included the wrong attitude that because Amida's primal vow saves the evil one, one should then commit more evil. This attitude is called Zowaku Muge Hongan. This resulted in pressures by the local authorities. In order to clarify such misconceptions, Master Shinran sent his son, Zenran, to the Kanto area. However, this task was difficult, and as time passed, Zenran used his relationship with Shinran to control them. He also negated his father's teachings and claimed to have received a secret teaching from his father. Disturbances then broke out amongst the Nembutsu groups there. When Master Shinran realized that Zenran was misleading others, he was so disappointed that he disowned his son. Copies of his disownment document still exist today. Although he encountered heartbreaking sorrow, such as having to disown his own son, the venerable master spent his entire life spreading the precious Nembutsu teaching. In 1263, Master Shinran was 90 years of age. It was rare to be able to live till so old in that era. His health declined and he passed away peacefully on the 28th day of the 11th lunar month. He was attended by his youngest daughter, Kakushini, and a few other disciples. This is the Suminobo temple where the master passed away. In the Godensho, written by his great-grandson Kakunyo, his last moments are described in the following way. Without speaking of worldly matters at all, he expressed his deep indebtedness to the Buddha by reciting the sacred name, the Nembutsu, without cease. His last words were recorded as, When I close my eyes for the last time, please place my remains in Kamo River to nourish the fish. On the next day, his body was cremated in a simple ceremony. His ashes were then picked and enshrined in the Nishiotani. A small memorial temple was built and an image of Master Shinran was enshrined with the ashes. With the help of the late Master's disciples, Kakushini became the caretaker. This was the humble origins of today's Honganji. The descendants of Kakushini inherited the caretaker position, which then developed into the Monshu leadership system of Honganji in later generations. Through the efforts of the succeeding leaders, the small memorial temple evolved into the Honganji complex of today. This is Honganji located in central Kyoto. The two principal buildings are namely the Goedo, Founders Hall, on the left, and the Amidado, Amida Hall, on the right. In January of every year is held the annual memorial for Shinran's passing. Thousands of followers will congregate here to listen to the Dharma and to pay their respects to the image of Shinran Shonen. This is the Nishiotani Mausoleum today. Millions of Shinshu followers have their ashes placed here in order to be reunited with the late Master. Even though Master Shinran passed away more than 750 years ago, his teachings still remain alive in the hearts of millions today.